Welcome back everybody to our intermediate and advanced Civil 3D training session videos. In this video we're going to start taking a look at the dynamic blocks and how to make some dynamic blocks include additional grips that allow us to stretch and rotate and tweak our items without going into the block itself. The first one that we're going to take a look at is how to make a dynamic north arrow. We're going to keep it really simple. We're going to allow it to be moved via grip in the center and a rotation option on the north arrow itself. So before we can go and make these dynamic blocks, we need to have the north arrow set up, the line work already set up for it, and uh, we're essentially going to create just a, a typical block but add some additional commands into it. And through the magic of video editing, I have a north arrow here in front of me. It's not a block yet, it's basically a couple lines, a piece of text or just some polylines displaying north. Now I'm going to run the typical block command, so we're going to type in block, and we're going to name this north, north arrow, uh, whatever you want to name your blocks. My base point I want to specify on the screen, or even we can pick a point. And actually, I'm going to pick the point. I want it to be in the center of that end there. My block units and meters, uh, I want it to open in block editor when I'm done. The objects, I'm going to select my objects. I want all of this. Now, this white background that I have is a masking background. It's color 255, 255, 255. So essentially, it prints white, but it just hides what's behind it. Makes your objects look slightly cleaner. I'm going to convert these to a block. I don't want to make this annotative. I'm going to uh, either don't allow, I, I tend not to allow exploding on my blocks just so the end user can't get in here and change them. I mean, there is a workaround. They can go and turn the explosion allowing on. However, this just, it doesn't let it explode it from the, from uh, the main screen here. And I'm not going to make it annotative because my my North Arrow blocks always reside in paper space. I never put them in model space. I want them to be all the same size. So I'm going to hit OK. And Civil 3D loads me into the block editor. And it should open up an authoring palette. This is how we can start applying these dynamic elements to our North Arrow. Now there's a couple uh, tabs in here we have to pay attention to, the parameters tab and the actions tab. Usually where there's an action, there's a parameter. We have to include both, uh, both tabs, uh, options from both tabs in our dynamic blocks. And then some additional commands under parameter sets and constraints. However, what I wanna do is just a simple rotation on this and I'm going to select rotate. But, it's opened me in the actions tab and what it tells me at the command line is to select the parameter. So we need to start off with a, a parameter. And we have point, linear, these are good for stretching. These are stretching polar, stretching X and Y's, rotation, aligning objects, flipping objects, visibility and lookup are really handy when you're going to make a, a multi-block. So you have uh, one one point block that can display either control points or groundwater points or monitoring all points or any any number of options and we'll take a look at that too and we can change the base point so we have selected the middle of the circle here for the base point we could put the base point at the bottom if we want you can change that after the fact we however want to do a rotation so i'm going to select rotation and i want it to rotate uh civil 3 asked me to select the base point I want that base point to be the exact same as the base point I made my block. So the center of that end. And then it just asks you to specify a radius of the parameter. It's where it puts the symbol for you. Uh, try not to have things too tightly confined in here. It's going to make it harder to see. So I'm just going to place it off to the right a bit. And the default rotation angle, I want it to be just the base angle of zero. This is the default rotation. I want my north arrow to appear straight north when I put it into the drawing. Now that we have that 
parameter in here, we can go down to the actions tab. Under the actions tab, we have the same sort of information. We have a move parameter, scale, stretch, polar stretch. Here's the rotate, flip array, look up, and then a block properties table. We want to select the rotate. Civil 3D then asks you to select the parameter. So I'm going to select the angle one parameter. Then it asks you to select the objects. I am going to window everything because I want this to come with me. I'm going to grab that angle as well. When I rotate this block, I also want that circle, the grip to rotate also. I'm going to right click or hit enter after I've selected my objects and this little glyph will pop up on our screen. If we hover over it, it's going to show us what's going to rotate. We can right click on this. We can delete it. We can go a new selection set or modify our selection set. So if we add an additional line to this drawing, we don't have to redo the parameters. We don't have to redo the actions. We can come in and just like new selection set, select what you want, and again, hit enter. We can rename the action. So if we want to rename it to something else, we could go ahead and do that. We can show all actions, hide all actions. Uh, we can get a large number of actions in the drawing itself. And if you have more and more things going on in your dynamic blocks, and I've got some that have about seven or eight different things that we can do to it, hiding these, um, these actions can definitely be helpful and re, uh, bringing them back up. If you hide all your actions, a simple right click action bars, you can show all actions to get them back. So it's not that once this is set up, we can't go back and change it. By all means, we can come in here and change things. So this, I'm gonna close the block editor now. I'm going to save my changes to my North Arrow and we're kicked back into Civil 3D. So when I click on my North Arrow now, I have the center grip so I can move this left, right, up, down, wherever I really want to. I also have a circular grip that does not give me a tool tip doesn't prompt me what to do. It doesn't tell me anything about it. However, if I click on it, I can now rotate my North arrow to whatever angle that I wish to. As you notice, I am not using the command line. I'm not typing in rotate. I'm not typing in 45 degrees. I'm using this grip to rotate to really whatever angle I want to rotate my North arrow to. So that was a introductory into dynamic blocks. We'll do a simple parameter on our north arrow. We've all we've applied was a rotation. In the next video, we'll look at a couple more advanced commands in applying stretching and applying flipping and applying moving to our blocks and having the, the lookup ability so we can select different kinds of information and have different blocks all residing in one block. Thank <laughs> you.